Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the INRL Insomniac Elite Series. Today we are at Savannah, the Savannah Motor Speedway for the fifth round of the season. And you will notice there's a small number of cars in the field. Well, uh, this track can't hold 35 cars, so we're doing a double header event. And um, basically, I've list, I've lined up the driver. The drivers are in their groups depending on their points position. Depending on their uh, points, points to position, their position to points, and uh, well. Now let's just get down to the track for um, round number one, where Ezekiel Proctor is on the pole. He he won from the pole last week, so this is very interesting. And beside him it is Ryan Acosta in the 28. Row number two, we have Connor Atwood and Chris Igor. Row three, DJ Curtis and Dylan Young. Row four, Connor Breton and Charles Sanford. And then in the fifth row, we have Maxwell Chan and Kyle Sanoski. Row number six has Jacob Hart and Carl Sander. Row seven, Jeffrey Finguy and RJ Manson. Row eight, Chris Washer and Brandon Wood. And then right out the field is William Duncan and John Johnston. 18 cars in round one. There's going to be 17 in round two because, of course, 35 drivers. We will have a new driver making, making his debut next week. I mean, I mean, uh, in round two, as we get ready to fire those engines. Gentlemen, start your engines! Nice to be there at the end. It's a long race. We just got staying contested. No mistakes. That's the big key. No mistakes today. We get up there. We get in the top ten. We ride. We ride. We ride. That's what we gotta do today. Ezekiel Proctor leads us down to the green for a new event here. Double he it's double header time as Ezekiel Proctor leads us down for round number one of today's event. We're green. We're rocking at Savannah. And we're these cars fly around the track pretty around fly around the track pretty quickly. This track is a rather old surface though, so I keep that in mind. Meanwhile, Proctor is gone. That 93 car is unstoppable. And he has been all season. And look at this, he's just gone right away. Proctor's already pulled out to a big lead as Connor Atwood's taken second. DJ Curtis and Ryan Acosta battle for third. It's worth mentioning that all drivers will be scoring points today because, well, in both, ra in both races there is less than 20 cars. 18 in round one. 18 in this round, 17 in the second. Meanwhile, Curtis and Acosta still fighting for that spot, and Curtis will finally take it. Wait, no, Acosta fighting back. Acosta really does not want to give up any spots, but he's going to have to give up that spot to Curtis sooner or later, as now he's got Breton underneath him. And look, there's Maxwell Chan making his way forward in the 07. He has not had a good start to the season. He's the only Wrecking Ball driver that has not been doing well, as Chris Igor has been doing fantastic, and so has Kozik Nova, but Maxwell Chan really hasn't been doing very well. But running in the sixth spot right now, looking on Ryan Acosta to try and take fifth. But does anybody have anything for Proctor? I don't know. Well, actually, Connor Atwood is... Well, it was faster last time, and Curtis has the fastest lap of the race. Oh, sorry about that. that it lagged for some reason there. Oh, looks like some drivers in the back have fallen a bit of ways behind. And also, actually, I think the 41 may have damage. I don't know, I think it's a glitch. There's Jacob Hart, he's a hometown hero here. Noah Hart is Noah Hart, his brother, is in round number two. And it seems like Connor Atwood is actually fast. It seems like 
at Wood and Perth are actually a little bit a little bit faster than the 93, but not by much. They're not going to be catching him anytime soon. And these races are probably going to be pretty short. So we don't have much time. Boy, it would be really something if Proctor won this race because, well, because, well, four rounds in and he's already won two races. It would be unheard of if he won this. If he won this race. That would be three wins in the first five races. Seriously, that is unheard of. Proctor have been really strong right now, but wait, actually Atwood's catching him really quickly now. The Aussie looking for his first career win. Driving for RJ Manson Racing, he's had a good start so far in this, in this season. He's seventh in the point. And also, looks like he's going to be putting John Johnson a lap down here soon. Johnson is a little more on the is a little more on the pace than he was last week. Johnston is more on the pace than he was last week, but he's still slow as usual. And it looks like Proctor's breaking away. He's found a he's found some speed in that 93 car. As he catches up to the 98 of Steven of Johnston. And he passes him without much of a problem. And now Atwood goes down low. And he will also pass the 98 without any problem. You know, on the back here, uh, we've got Kyle Sanoski and Brandon Wood here. Sanoski really hasn't been doing so well. He, he had a good run at Daytona, but he hasn't done all that much since. Here's Sanford, he, he might want to pick up the pace there. Here's Chris Igor. He might he might want to try and gain some spots here. Ninth is actually uh mid ninth is mid uh, he's running in ninth, that's a uh, mid pack here. Also we're at the halfway point already. Told you this is gonna be quick. This is gonna be a quickie. Good, good stuff, good driving by Ryan Acosta so far though. Check, how about Acosta, he's running really well right now. And there's Breton in fourth. Both his teammates are in round two. Breton's showing us what he's got. Oh yes, and oh yes, Proctor is gone. He has broken a whip. All of a sudden he's much, all of a sudden he's quicker than the 33. Really starting to mellow out, really. Well, Brenton Wood here is trying to catch up. Some of these cars back here, mainly because of Johnston. Johnston has actually hit the wall. Chris Igor trying to pass Jeffrey Finguy for 8th here, but that's not really how you're wanting to do it. Meanwhile, Maxwell Chan is holding off Jacob Hart here for 6th. Pretty mellow race so far. Again, halfway in, approaching 10 to go. Man, that one car is really trying to pass the 22. He really wants to pass the 22 up high. I'm not sure if he can do that though. But he's got, he's, he just, he's managing to get a run to get beside the 22. Oh, nope, not there. Has that one been making any progress? No, Proctor's still holding his own. He Could he be looking at another perfect 70? He's already almost got a full race point lead. There's only three other drivers who could possibly take the points lead away from him. And there's two. And they are Chris Igor in the one. 
And then the two Hamilton All Sports cars of Seth Cole and Sean Angel, who are both in round two. Igor is definitely not going to do it. He's not as Proctor. Well, really, this doesn't look like anybody's able to challenge Proctor. He is dominant right now. He's, as he has been all season so far. And here he is to catch up to Johnston. There goes right around the 98, no problem there. As Atwood now looks underneath the 98 and up Johnston hits the wall again. This track does, looks pretty wide, so I wonder how he even managed to hit the wall like that. Curtis did really well last week here though, DJ Curtis. So it's great to see him doing well again. As Atwood starting to close the gap again. Will they keep it going? Or is Proctor gonna break away? Is he just too strong? I don't know. Approaching five laps to go. We've got less than ten. Atwood really trying to get underneath that 93 car. But I really don't think he's gonna have enough. And there goes Proctor, I think, starting to get away again. Oh, wow. Same lap times. But I really think that 93 car is unstoppable right now. Don't really think there's much of a way that, that Atwood's going to be able to catch Proctor here. Well, he's gaining some ground, but I don't think he's going to have enough. He, he's looking to try the outside on Proctor. Atwood's, I think, I think Atwood's got it. He's getting really close. I think he's going to be able to challenge the 93 here with five laps to go. And, oh, he got a little loose there. And, uh, oh, he's I think he's trying to get outside here. That's not going to work. Gap opens back up now with four laps to go. Atwood's figured out that the outside is very quick off of two. But, he, but the outside is not very fast in three and four. And that he hasn't figured out in Proctor being very difficult to pass. Three laps to go. This is getting really exciting. This is getting real exciting here as Atwood tries again. He's trying everything to get around that 93 car, but he just doesn't have enough. Two laps to go now. I think Atwood might be able to get a run up high here. Oh, Proctor slows! Proctor! Wait, Atwood just went right around the 93. Proctor was awfully slow in one and two there, and Atwood takes the lead. He, white flag is in the air. Proctor dominated this race, but a, a mistake is going to cost him. That car, and he is, wow, Atwood's broken away, and the Aussie, Connor Atwood, going to take his first career win. Atwood wins here in Savannah. Wow. Round number one. What a, what a finish. Proctor dominated that race, but Atwood passed him on the final with two laps to go. Wow. Proctor, so close. Third is DJ Curtis. Fourth is Connor Breeden. Fifth is Ryan Acosta. Sixth is Maxwell Chan. Seventh is Jacob Hart. Eighth is Jeffrey Finguy. Ninth is William Duncan. And tenth is Chris Washer. Wow. Let's get to the results here. There you go. There's the rest of the results there. Igor's in 11th. Young's 12th. Sanford 13th. 14th is Sanner. 15th is Wood, 16th is Sanofsky, 17th is Manson, and then Johnston is 18th. There you go. That, and there we go, round, that's round one here at Savannah. Let's, let's get down, let's, let's, let's get ready for round number two. Ooh, great job by Connor Atwood. We're back down... We're back down at the grid here for round number two, where Sean Angel is on the pole, but where Sean Angel is on the pole here, he is a he is a championship contender right now, the Canadian. Sean Angel looking to do to do what Proctor couldn't, and that's win the race. Beside him is Nathan Hudson in the 19. Round number two has Ian Dutta. I I apologize. Uh, Dutta is Brazilian. Uh, the auto the banner uh, last week said he was American, so 
Right, but uh, but I fixed it. Beside him it is Reese Black in the 17. Row number three we have Norman Miller and another championship contender Seth Cole in the 11. Row number four we have James Thorfox and Alex Hawkins. Row right, top 10 is Nick Pericles and Noah Hart. Row number row number six we have Peachy London and Drew Austin. And in the seventh row we have Davey Tonte, Felix Theodore. Replacing Avis for Pax in the 10, because um, after um, after the round of Ohio, a uh, big surprise, Avis for Pax um, fell into a coma after the round four, after round four, due, due, due to his injuries from the Texas race. So, and he'll probably be out for the rest of the season. So, um, gonna be interesting to see what Felix Theodore can do. Beside him, we have Brandon McGuirt in the 83. Next row, we have P.J. Williams and James Shelley, and then Cosmic Nova rounds out the field. There we go. Gentlemen, start your engines! I'm up in the center of one and two up here, so as you're going down the back stretch into three, um, it may appear to me that they're inside, but they may be just shy of that. Uh, I'll really try to stay on top of that all night, but... Canadian Sean Angel leads us down for round number two. Will it be as exciting as round one? We're about to find out. As we're green, we're rocking Savannah for round number two. And Sean Angel broke away right off the bat, just like Proctor. Oh, but this time we've got problems! Problems right off the bat as Hawkins got turned around. Oh, look out, buddy! Oh, crap! No caution for that, however. There really should be a caution, but no, no cautions out. Pichu London... Pichu London went around, too. Noah Hart, hometown hero, got a piece of that. And there is some bright side damage on that car. That might hurt him for the rest of the race. Oh, Nathan Hudson! Is tr it's challenging Sean Angel here. Hudson trying to get around the 20. He would love to win for Cybertron. They've been showing a lot of speed. They, they haven't exactly been showing into a lot of speed in Ohio, but they were very fast in Texas. Hudson challenging the 20 up, up, up high. Hudson's still trying the outside there. I don't think that's going to work. He holds off Dada though and tries to get on the 20 again. Getting a, getting a little run there. But now Dada's down, the, down low beneath the 19. The Brazilian, Dada. Showing a, he's, been, he's probably been showing the most speed among the S3 cars. Well, him and uh, DJ Curtis. Got to put up the monitor there. Dada. Doing well right now. He goes underneath Hudson here, trying to take second. There's Norman Miller in the free. He hasn't done much since Daytona. So it's good to see him running well right now. Can he keep, is he going to be able to keep it up? Let's, we're going to be going to see. I see Noah Hart working his way up there. He's in eighth place. Right with... Davey Tante, Felix Fedor right behind. There's James Shelley. Still have a broken wrist. Uh, we believe he's going to, We believe uh, Shelley will... Uh, um, uh, we're getting word that Shelley should be... Uh, should have recovered at... Should have recovered at by the time Sonoma comes around, so we should see Shelly back up the top form at Sonoma. Oh, where's, where's Angel? Oh, Sean Angel and Ian Dutta have broken away from the field. Those two a lot faster than the rest of the field. Oh, look at this. Alex Hawkins is the fastest lap of the race. That car is damaged, but that damage has made it faster. That car is that car is a rocket ship! 
he's caught up to the other drivers after getting turned around. Man, had a caution come out, he would probably blast it his way through the field. As he's now looking on PJ Williams. Hawkins has really been struggling this season, but but he but he has been impressing nevertheless because he just doesn't have a lot of luck. He's been showing a lot of speed. Meanwhile, Sean Angel is Break, is continuing to break away here. That car is very fast. I don't really see much competition between him. So we're looking at the battle back here. There's the hometown hero. The Flying Bandicoot, Noah Hart. Looking at, looking at a good run out here. This is his home, this is his home track. Right, currently running in 7th. Looking on James Silver Fox for 6th. And he has some right side damage on that car. He got a piece of the Alex Hawkins incident. But that car is still working very well. There's Seth Cole running an 8. He's second in the standings. But Proctor probably going to open up his points lead after this. Cosmic Nova, he's up there in the champion in the points battle as well. He's six. Look at that, Hawkins has passed the four. Meanwhile, Sean Angel continues to break away. He does. Yeah, remember I said about how fast Ezekiel Proctor was? Yeah, Sean Angel is faster than that. Sean Angel doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like anyone's gonna be able to really dislodge Sean Angel from the lead here. We're at the halfway point. Here we go, Sean Angel continuing to run, continuing to run laps here, as Dutta tries to chase him down. That really nice looking Husky car in a 20. Really like this paint scheme. This looks, this, I don't know, this has a nice look to it. There's Reese Black, he's really been struggling so far this season, so... So it's good to see him running well for once. And this is the Silver Fox. The Cybertrons weren't very fast. At... Oh, Caution's out. What for? Oh, PJ Williams. PJ Williams. Pierce Williams and Hawkins might have gotten into some trouble here. Those cars have more damage than they did before. So that's going to bunch up the field. Not what Sean Angel wanted to see. Wow. Caution's out for the first time today. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, here's a look what happened. PJ Williams looks on Alex Hawkins on the outside here. But Hawkins going to throw the block and Williams gets into him. They go up the track and watch this. Williams gets shot up into the guardrail and he flips over. That four car flips over on its roof. PJ Williams probably going to be out of the race. That's a tough break for him, but but uh, that's racing. What can I say? Robin's racing. That's just a racing incident. Let's get back to the green. We're going back to green. Lap number 29 of 40. Only driver out race as of that last incident is PJ Williams. Sean Angel is the leader. Second is Ian Dutta. Third is Nathan Hudson. Fourth is Norman Miller. Fifth is Reese Black. Sixth is James Sorfox. 7th is Noah Hart, 8th is Cosmic Nova, 9th is Nick Pericles, and 10th is Seth Cole, 11th is James Shelley, 12th is Felix Theodore, 13th is Peachy London, 14th is Drew Austin, 15th is Brandon McGuire, and now it's Hawkins and 16th is the last car running. There you go, off of four. Green's back out, and Sean Angel cut Ian Dutta sleeping as he is gone. Sean Angel really no is really knowing how to get this track going, and Really knowing how, really knows how to drive at this track. It seems and that's interesting because I've never seen Sean Angel race at this track before. This is the first time I've seen Sean Angel driving at Savannah, and God, he is blazing fast. This looks absolutely unstoppable. 
And now we've got 10 laps to go. Boy, this has been a this has been a real interesting week. R real interesting one. Round number round five of the season. And it's been a good one, that's for sure. Here, we'll look at the midfield here. Battle battle between some some of these. Little battle here. There's the, the hometown hero Noah Hart really trying to get a good run going. The Silver Fox, he's looking on Norman Miller. Oh, Miller got a little loose. Silver Fox running down low, right behind his teammate Nathan Hudson. Miller's not gonna be able to get past Hudson. Miller not gonna pass Hudson there. The Cybertrons have been really fast. Well, that seems to be the one of the but there doesn't seem to be much of a battle for the lead here as Sean Angel is just too strong in that 20 car. Hamilton Autosports didn't do well at Daytona, but they have had a strong season. They they have, but they turned it but they turned it around and they've been pretty strong so far. Sean Angel has five laps to go. Silver Fox trying to take fourth here from Norman Miller. And he's going to get it. Wait, no, 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 there's Miller. Miller still trying to get around the 91. Nothing doing. And now Cosmic Nova goes down low. Very interesting battle here. Nova trying to pass the free. Miller is 10 from points. Got three laps to go. Has Dutta gained any ground? No, Sean Angel still too strong. As a Cybertron. Cybertron Motorsports is one of the strongest teams of the weekend. As you as per usual. But they're not gonna be able to challenge for the win. It looks it looks like it's all Sean Angel. Here we go, off of four. White flag in the air. Ian Dutta doesn't think he's gonna be able to pull it off. Nope. He can't put he's not gonna be Sean Angel won't be denied. It's off the file corner. Sean Angel will take the win here at Savannah. Round number two. Quite something there. Sean Angel takes the win. Congratulations to him. Second is Ian Dutta. Third is Nathan Hudson. Fourth is James Silver Fox. Fifth Cosmic Nova. Sixth Norman Miller. Seventh Noah Hart in front of his own crowd. Eighth, Nick Pericles. Ninth is uh, Breeze Black, and tenth is Pichu London. So there you go. That is the. Those are the double. That's the double header event there. And there's the rest of the results. Shelly in 11th, from McGorton 12th, Seth Cole in 13th. Not a good point today for him. Theodore in 14th didn't exactly have a fantastic debut, but hey, but hey, he didn't cause any trouble. All he wanted to do was just block some laps, and that's what he did. 15th is, then 15th is Austin, and Hawkins is in 16th. Well, this was, this was a very interesting bit of, bit of stuff here. Kind of felt like a bit of an experiment to me. And, uh, well, it worked out pretty well. Man, really exciting weekend out here at Savannah. Congratulations, congratulations to our two winners. International, international drivers Connor Atwood and Sean Angel are both international drivers. And they're both getting a lot of, and they're both in the top 10 points. This is really going to help their championship hope. That's all we have this week. Be sure to stick around next week where we, or when we're going to head to Sonoma. For some road course racing, our first road course of the season. Well, that, that's, all we, that's all we have today. Here comes the standings. You've been watching a production of the INRL, Racing Uncontained. See you next time.